These days, more and more of us have smartphones, and while that same communication device can make your home smart as well, saving you money and energy in the process. Dan Godwin takes a look in tonight's Fox Forward. With a smartphone, you can pay your bills, go shopping, watch television, countless other activities, and control all kinds of settings in your home in a way you never could before. Stephen Sardone of Sardone Construction is an expert in making your home smarter. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Dan. People hear the term smart home and they might think, oh, that's, that's for wealthy people, but you're saying no. No, yeah. Uh, so with a smartphone, it can act as a remote uh, for a, a number of different things inside the home, right. like for example, lighting. How, right. But how complicated is it, say, to to get the phone ready or to program it for to, to turn my lights off and on. I think if you can connect your phone to your car, then you can make this work as well. So it's a it's a pretty simple program. It really is. Yeah. Do I need to go buy anything, you know, at the store, though, say for the lights? Everything that we recommend you can get on Amazon. OK, so how, how much would say the device to control the lighting in my home? You know, smart plug makes an outlet that's about twenty six dollars. You can okay. get it, have it into your house in two days. What about controlling, say, the thermostat, which I can also do from my smartphone? Now, how big is the setup for that? You know, I think you can probably buy that Honeywell thermostat at Home Depot uh, for about $200 and then have it installed. And you're saying I would quickly make up the cost of the, the programmable thermostat. I'd quickly make that up? Absolutely, within the year or less. H how so? Well, it, it really monitors your usage and your energy efficiency. Not only that, it allows you to turn things off from your phone, lights you might have left on or the thermostat you might have left too high while you're out all day. Um, and it also monitors how you use it, and it makes suggestions out of how to be more efficient. And all that stuff really does add up. Absolutely. All right, and, and then there's the security system. Now, I have one in my, where I live, but I've got to set it before I leave. You're saying... I can set it from what, when, when I'm in the car? Or? Absolutely. If you forget or uh, you're in a hurry, you can punch it up on your phone, set the alarm, turn the lights off, lock the door, or even when you're coming home, you can make it set up so that when you come within 100 yards of your house, it unlocks so you can run in real quick without touching the alarm and run back out. You're in the business, your company, uh, of remodeling homes. Sometimes, you know, home improvement can get really pricey, but you're saying, there are, there are things that are relatively cheap that really do increase uh, the value of the home quite substantially? I would say so. There's a, a lot of ways a homeowner can spruce up their home on their own, increase the value, increase the enjoyment of living in that home. On your own. You don't need to hire a contractor. That's so right. number one, you're thinking paint, what, right. lighting? Mm -hmm. Get some lights in there. Just get an electrical contractor to put in some can lights. Or if you already have the lights, go to your uh, big box store and just swap them out with some bright LEDs. All right. Thank you very much, Stephen. For more information about what we've been talking about, making your home smarter, Stephen's got a website. We've got a link. Just go to fox4news.com.